Hello everybody! This is our set of video solutions to Quiz 5. This is the Fall 2021 semester at Cal State Fullerton. It's Math 106, which is Differential Equations and Integral Calculus. In this very first problem from the quiz, uh, well, the first three problems, in fact, are all going to be exploring the connections between unit step functions and piecewise defined functions, as well as their graphs. So in this one, we're given a uh, unit step function or rather a combination of unit step functions plus some extra junk. Uh, and we want to write it as a piecewise defined function, and then we want to graph it. All right. Uh, okay, fine. We can do that. So let's see. First thing, uh, it might actually be helpful to graph it uh, as we go, and then writing the piecewise shouldn't be so bad. So I'm going to you know, like break the rules of the directions. All right. They can't stop me. Uh, and... I'm going to try to graph this thing right off the bat. So the first thing that this says is that the function is going to begin at 2, meaning from negative infinity on until some point, particularly 1, we're just going to be the constant function 2. Uh, at 1, something is going to happen. So I'm going to mark this down. There's 1. And then at 3, something else is going to happen. So there could be 2, and then maybe here's 3. So at 1, something is going to happen, but before 1, it's just going to be at height 2. So let's see, there's maybe a 2 right there. And so I just get a nice flat constant line all the way up until 1, and then something is going to change. Oops, so I'm going to put a nice circle, and I'll use a little arrow on the left here to denote it going off to negative infinity. Okay, now what happens when we get to time equals uh, 1? Well... Here, we're going to be turning off the unit step function at 1, meaning we're going to be going down, right? That's that minus tells you, right? So we're going to be going down. And by how much? Well, by 3. So if I go down by 3, I go 1, 2, right? So this is a 1, 0. Oh, I'm going to be at negative 1. All right. And I'm going to keep going in a straight line until I get to 3. How do I know 3? Well, that's the next time there's a switch. All right, so I go there, I put a little open dot because something is going to happen. Now, what's going to happen? Well, this u3 tells me at 3 we're going to apply the unit step function, so it's going to go up because of this plus, and how much? It's going to go up by 5. So if we're at negative 1, now we need to go all the way up to 3, and there's a 4, so we jump up here to 4. And then we head off to infinity because there's no more switches. Okay, so there's actually our graph. And so writing down f as a piecewise function should be pretty routine at this point. So first, from negative infinity all the way up to 1, we get a constant value of 2. Okay, then from 1 to 3, so we're going to include 1 but not include 3, we're down here at negative 1. And then finally, when t is at least 3, oops, and t is at least 3, and then heading off to infinity, we get a value of 4. 